Hello, hello to all of my beautiful subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. So this message will be for air signs. Let's see what messages we have for air signs. Spirit guys, universe, ancestors of the highest light. Like, please leave me messages for air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Let's see. I don't know. Somebody could be in the dark night of the soul. And they're still going through their dark night of the soul. Or someone is getting out of that energy. Okay. Someone could also have been doing a lot of self-reflecting. Let's see. Messages for air signs. So you have the seven of cups. So it's all about making choices, making decisions. Okay. Say so stop procrastinating or, or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options and addictions. So someone could be indulging in addictions okay someone is like confused okay someone could be still dealing with like smoke and mirrors or their judgment could be clouded at this time okay or it's something that you're trying to figure out and discover one on one's on the clock but you're feeling confused and at the bottom of the deck we have transformation okay so maybe someone could be confused about what they should do regarding you or surrounding you. We got the empress at the bottom of the deck with the ace of wands. So you have brand new beginnings coming towards you. So that's probably why Spirit is saying put your dreams into reality, okay? So whatever it is that you've been wanting to do with this seven of cups energy, you can do it, okay? You just have to clearly decide what it is that you want to do to do okay and put that self-sabotaging energy behind you so you can continue to move forward with that food energy okay so you have to believe in yourself is what i'm getting believe more into yourself so let's see air signs gemini libra aquarius so we got the seven of swords and the nine of wands okay hmm so you could be feeling like you're having to sneak on from something or somebody, okay? Or you're having to, having to move in a very strategic way. It's like you're having to strategize your movements or how you move, okay? You can feel like someone around you is being sneaky, so you're having to have your guard up, okay, to protect yourself is what I'm getting. You could be setting boundaries, okay, because you feel like something around you is sneaky, okay? Or something that you're dealing with, person, place, or thing is sneaky, Okay. Also, you might need to like put heavy protection on your accounts. Okay. Because somebody could be trying to like hack into your accounts and they're trying to steal information from you. Two of Pentacles in the Hierophant. You could have been um, unsure about if you should do it. But with the Hierophant, it's like giving me a yes. Okay, so you not you might need what is it called the two the two face authenticator or something like that. Okay, but know that you are protected. Okay, with this hierophant card because the Most High is watching over you. Okay, so someone could have been trying to like do too many attempts is what I'm getting with the two two of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Okay. But your accounts or something is blocked, it's secured. So this person can't get into it. So you could have already changed your passwords and you could have used a different, something different, okay? Let's see. The queen of cups is the star, so you're definitely healing, okay? You're shining bright like a diamond is what I'm hearing. We got the ten of pentacles. Hmm. Some of you guys was unsure on if you're going to get with um, some form of inheritance, but you are. Okay, we got the King of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So someone from your past could be going to jail, okay? Knight of Wands, the Tower. Yikes. Ooh, we got the tower. I'm sorry, y'all. We got the tower, the knight of wands, and the nine of cups. So 
So the reason why someone is probably staying away from you is the energy I'm getting with this Knight of Wands and the Nine of Cups is because this person could be going to jail or they're on the run because it's Charia and the Eight of Swords. Okay. I don't know what this person did to you, but it wasn't good. Okay. Because... Now this person is very nostalgic about you with the Six of Cups and the King of Pentacles, okay? They're ha they're like daydreaming about you. This person is all in their head. Wishing that they would have done better or treated you better with the Nine of Cups. I mean, with the Nine of Cups, okay? But this person chose to, like, be the Knight of Wands. So that's why they're going through a tower. And it could be dealing with uh, the police or some shit like that. Mm -mm. And this this King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Mm -mm. This person also could have like want their cake and eat it too. So this person chose to have their cake and eat it too because they were desiring other people, places, and things. So this person wasn't quite ready to like get out of their lustful energy. Okay. Also, someone is finding discipline within their soul when it comes to their sexual desires and their sexual needs. Okay. Give me more for air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got the food cards. So you guys are starting over, taking a new leap of faith. Okay. Some of you guys could be starting a new career, a new business venture. Okay. A lot of you guys are balanced. Your priorities are intact. Your priorities in order. Okay. Some of you guys are thinking about going back to church, okay? Or you could be reading more of the Bible or you're needing to, okay? You could have, like, the, uh, the Bible app on your phone. And it sends you, like, positive scriptures every day, affirmations. Some of you guys have, like, affir affirmation apps on your phone. 7-Eleven on the clock. Or you're my needing to get it. I also see that somebody could like put affirmations on their window or on their wall or on their um their mirror in the bathroom. Or if you have a mirror in your room, you could put like stick use a little sticky notes and you put your affirmations up. Okay. Someone could be very embarrassed or intimidated by you because they know that they can't like trick you or manipulate you or finesse you. Okay, so it's causing this person to be in the two of pentacles, not knowing what to do or how to do it. Okay, I don't know why her coached. So this person could be coached, being coached on how to finesse you or how to come in towards you. But this person knows that you're, you're guarded and they cannot sneak you. They cannot finesse you. Some of you guys are like very free spirited, okay? You be in your own world. You walk around, you sing, you dance. It's just you in, in your own world. Okay? Give me more for air signs. I'm going to leave with Chris. We got the Empress that came out. So maybe someone is now realizing and acknowledging who you are to them. Okay? But you probably just don't care anymore. What's this two of pentacles? Because you got your guard up towards this person. So you probably don't even care if this person is strategically trying to communicate with you or come towards you or whatever this person is planning to do because they're planning something strategically. But this person is a little bit nervous and afraid to reach out to you with the two of pentacles. So they go back and forth on if they should reach out to you, call you, text you, or say something with this eight of wands. What's the hurry for because this person know that they was being foolish towards you. Yeah, the magician. So this person could be like praying or, or trying to manifest you back or asking God to like, I'm hearing, please save it for me. Do this one favor for me. I had to change my play away. It got way too complicated for me. I hope she's waiting for me. Everywhere she go, they play in my song. That's why I say the things that I say the way I know you can't ignore me. And so and so. Just give me all of you in exchange for me. So we got the temperature of a bird. So someone is definitely unbalanced. Okay, they're needing to find some balance. Okay, this person could be trying to like call you in by 
putting you in a trance or something like that. Because this person is definitely doing magic to call you back in. And they're being very strategic on how they do it. Okay? Because they want you to come back to them with the two of pentacles, eight of wands. Instead of you choosing to move towards them freely on your own free will. On your own choices and decisions. What's this to the pentacles? So this person is needing to find balance. This person also don't have any form of protection. The tempers in reverse. We got the king of pentacles. This is king of pentacles again. They see long term and longevity with you, but they juggled you. Whether this was in the past. Okay. This person also have their guard up towards you as well. With the nine of wands. Because they know they was acting a fool. Yeah, it pays the soil. This person is watching you from the sidelines. Watching you as you be happy. This person could want to know, are you happy without them? Okay. Or have you moved on with the eight of wands? Okay. Or if they come back into your life, are you going to do them the same way they did you? Like this person is thinking that you're going to be on some tick for tap. I'm telling you, this person is secretly watching you. It could be from different accounts. I just seen the hermit card. So this person feel like, okay, if I make a move towards my divine feminine and, and give this a chance or give this a go, would she forgive me or will she accept me or is she going to do what I have done to her? So that's probably why this person is nervous to come to, like to fully um, make a move towards you. Give me one this King of Pentacles. Yeah, the Seven of Cups again. We got the Seven of Cups here and the Seven of Cups that just fell out. So this person is like, they're not sure on which is just like, they're, whew, they don't know how they should move towards you. Okay, air signs. So you can be dealing with a Taurus, a Gemini, a Sagittarius, a Libra, an Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Give me more of this King of Pentacles. Six of Cups. This is definitely someone from your past. What's this tempers in reverse? I'm telling you, this person is daydreaming. Look, the two of cups fell out, and then we got the emperor. This person is all in their head. I'm here, and it's all in my head. I think about it over and over again. And I can't keep picturing you in the stand. And it's so bad. Whatever, okay? That's how this person feeling. What's this tempers in reverse? <laughs> What's this tempers in reverse? Three of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. This person feel like that it'll be a good, like, you and this person will work very well together. But this person just feel like that y'all not on the same page or y'all just don't see eye to eye. This person feel like that they feel as though that they don't want to say the wrong things or they don't want to slip up and say the wrong things to you to turn you off or to make you turn the other cheek is what I'm hearing. Because this person feel like that you are the one for them. You're the one for me. You're the one. All the signs say that ever since the day that we laid eyes on each other, baby. You're the one for me. You're the one. You're the one. Okay. So, 222 two, two could be significant. This person could be getting a lot of signs and synchronicities. Okay. This person is still trying to understand spirituality. So, this could be someone new. Okay. So, you guys could be dealing with someone new. This person could be more religious or more traditional with the her font. So, they're still trying to, like, understand this thing called spirituality. Like, this person know. They have some form of information, but it's just it just don't make sense to them, okay? So, this is definitely your emperor, this king of pentacles. This person, look, justice and the queen of cups. This person feel like that you are balancing their life out, okay? Because the love that you give to them as well as the love that they have for you. So, it's a lot of balance. So, this is like a mutual connection. It's very genuine. Genuine is full of emotions, Okay? I'm hearing TLC, tender love and care. You can be very gentle with this person. Okay. Or very open. This person like how you're open. Like you're just yourself. I mean, it makes sense because y'all are a pair. Y'all are a match. Emperor and Empress. Okay. This person could want to like 
move things quickly, but they're unsure with the two of pentacles because this person is still nervous about experiences that they experienced in the past with the six of cups and the seven of swords. Okay, but there's no doubt in this person's mind that they don't want to be with you or be or like take things further because they see long term with you. Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Okay, and this person is going to be loyal to you. Okay, they're going to dedicate all their time, efforts, and energy into this connection because they want to actually see this connection grow. This person could have like um, options. Or you can have options or whatever the case may be. But these options don't compare to you. So it's like if this person is getting, if this person is like having other people want to talk to them or collaborate with them or try to establish something with them, this person is Xing them out to a fools. So this person is making a final decision to not even entertain these people. Yeah, because justice is here. They know that you are a match to them. King and queen of cups with the justice. Okay, you are like emotional fulfillment to this person. Emotional security. Okay, this person has a lot of emotions for you, whether you know it or not. Okay, and this fool card is what this person is taking this leap of faith, regardless of the experiences they experienced that could have been not so great with the seven of swords, but they're willing to make to take a chance, is what I heard. Okay. This is beautiful, air signs. So some of you people could already be in communicate communication with this person. Okay, some of you guys could still be in separation with this person. All right. This person, they could like still talk to other people. I'm not going to hold y'all, right? They could still talk to other people, but it's not as like the connection is not like the two of you, which I have. It's just not. It makes sense because you're the actual empress to this emperor and they're your actual emperor to you you're the empress so of course it's not going to like make any sense like these this person other people could be checking up on them hey how you doing i want to talk to you i want to get to know you this and third and this person is blocking them out because it's like we don't relate because this person is opening their self up to you king and queen of cups so now it's kind of like dip. That's why I seen the Ten of Wands and the High Priestess when I was just crack open in the deck. Because it's like, it like y'all, these people don't relate to this person no more. It's hard for this person to relate to them now. And it's like these people can do whatever they want, like show their body, be tempting, because I seen the devil called. So these people could be trying to tempt this masculine. This masculine is still like, no. Yeah, that's cool. That's fine and all, but no. Because this person only see you in their eyes. They only want you. I'm, I'm, that's why I sung that song by Dondria. You're the one for me. Because this person feel like that y'all are a perfect match. Okay. What's this temperature in reverse? Hmm. Somebody from this person's past could be trying to keep them unbalanced with the lover's card. They could be doing magic on this person to keep them stuck with the eight of swords. Because this person is moving forward regardless. They don't give a fuck about what nobody has to say or what nobody is doing. So it's like whoever this person is, they're just confusing their self. That's what that is. Yeah, the moon card. Feeling real foolish, real stupid. Because this masculine has moved on already. Eight of Wands. I'm telling you, Knight of Cups, the Chariot, and the Nine of Pentacles. This person already moved on and gave their offer to somebody else. Okay, whether this person is coming to give their offer to you, because you're the Nine of Pentacles, you're single, you're the single person, or this person is going to someone else. Because something is ending abruptly, Ten of Swords. Because this person made up their mind, Two of Swords, about these outside people, these external forces and energies and entities of people. Like, this person just don't care. Ten of Swords, that's why it's ending abruptly. And these people are not understanding. Because at first, this person could have entertained them and this person could have been sneaky or this person been trying to get away, okay, by, like, flirting with other people or talking to other people. But, uh, like, you and this person connection, 
It's like getting stronger. Give me, what's this? You're this person's yin to their yang. Yang and yang. And we got the queen of cups and we got the emperor and the empress. I'm telling you, it's getting strong. I just seen the strength card. Like y'all bond is going to be unbreakable. And you and this person already shared past lives with each other before 2022. Mm -mm -mm. People are going to be so upset. What's the king of cups, queen of cups? I'm telling you, four, one, four ones and a nine of swords, people are going to be upset. They're going to be disturbed. Because regardless, you and this person is going to come together. Some of these people are already worried and stressed out about you and this person coming together. Four of Wands and a Nine of Swords. So that's probably why people are trying to keep up these illusions regarding your person. Okay? When you and your person has already established something with the Three of Swords amongst each other, yeah, Six of Swords is going to be guided. Okay? So you and this person's connection is guided. So can't nobody stop it because it's already happening. Okay? Or it's about to happen or it's going to happen. Okay? So you got people that's trying to like probably tap into your energy or tap into like so people could be trying to get messages or tap into some form of messages to see when your person is coming in so they can block it. Okay, so they can have you going through an anxiety to make you feel as though that your person isn't your person. I'm telling you, the seven pickles, blah. the seven of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Sorry, y'all, I'm tired. So if I keep closing my eyes, it's because I'm tired, but I'm still going to multitask and get shit done. Okay, that's how we're going to do that there. Yeah, somebody is breaking up with somebody. Okay, somebody is calling something over or is done or quits or whatever the case may be, and they're moving on. They're like six or so. So somebody is like going to be heartbroken. What's this nine of swords? Because something. What's this nine of swords? The queen of wands. I'm telling you. If this masculine was dealing with a queen of wands. Or Ursula or Sagittarius or another. Or, or whoever. This person. Know that it's over, okay? They're losing sleep. They're stressed out. They're having anxiety. Yeah, it's over. Three of swords. So this person could have been undecisive, okay? Because they could have been afraid to let this person know that they didn't want to be with them no more or that they got to let them know, let them go because they were building a relationship somewhere else. And they could have had this connection a little bit like rocky or shaky or stagnant. But this person that built up the strength and confidence to just message this person and let them know, like, hey, I'm moving on. I'm happy. I found somebody to make me happy. I found somebody to make me feel good with the full energy. I feel youthful again. I feel young again. I just feel refreshed, renewed. And me and this person got a lot in common, two of cups. Okay? Because you and this person connect. That's why I said, like, Whoever these external people are, this person is just like, no. They're Xing it out. They're blocking it out. They don't want it. Because they want this. Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Four of Wands, and Justice. So you guys that manifested your person. Mm -hmm. And you got an ex-lover that's trying to like cause it to be unbalanced. By doing black magic. But it's not going to work. Because this person already made it known. Or they're letting this person know right now. That it's over. Three of swords. Yeah and this person just keep trying. Keep trying to offer. Probably we could just be friends. And this person is speaking the truth. King of swords. And what's under it? The sun card. Yeah it's exposing the truth to this person. Okay. Like, nah, because you trying to start drama. Like, I'm not with the drama. This person could be telling them that you ain't with the drama neither. You just want things to be peaceful. Because this person wanted to smooth things over. They want things to be calm, cool, and collected. Okay? 
They want things to be cool and copacetic. This person don't have time for the drama. And this person is childish and shit that they trying to keep carrying this drama on. And this person is just like, look, we don't see eye to eye. We're not together anymore. Three of Swords is over. Okay, I'm moving on. I don't want to keep juggling you and this person. So I got to make up my mind. And it's like, I'm ready to like start something new. Go somewhere else. And this is what this person is telling this person. Like they don't have no choice but to accept it, but they don't want to accept it. They want to keep a third party going, but this person is standing strong and firm and like, no. Because it's definitely a third party situation. Three of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. But this person is making some shit clear. Getting some shit understood with this Queen of Wands. And she's losing sleep. She's worried. She's stressed. She's going through anxiety. Oh, baby, baby. Yeah, the tower. So was that crack over there? That? And you hear the sirens? Because this person that met their match, they done found their match. And that's you. Collective. Yeah, you make this person happy. Ten of cups. And the tower card. Like, it's a tower happening right now. Because this person is walking away. I'm here for good. They're turning their back on this person. This person is no longer holding on. They're no longer giving energy to that situation. Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. What's this Nine of Swords and Queen of Wands? Yeah, the Sun in Reverse. It's like, ain't no sunshine when he's gone. <laughs> That's how this person feels. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Whatever this person is trying to do between you and this person connection is protected. But this person is trying to keep this masculine unbalanced by black magic. Okay? Could be trying to, like, keep old memories going or keep bringing up old memories between them two. Oh, remember we did this? Remember we did that? And um, remember when you spent time with my family and you came over, you met my family and we did this and did that? And he like, yeah. That's cool, but it's not there no more, Slim. Like, what the heck? This person is just like, their feelings isn't with this person no more. Because they already been hurt by this person. I'm telling you, eight of cups, seven of wands. What's this sun in reverse? Like, this person is trying to keep up memories that is like no longer a memory. Page of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Like, sending multiple pictures back to back to back of them together. And this person is like, I want new love. Yeah, I'm telling you, look, this King of Swords. Look, they like, I already got a connection elsewhere. Three of Wands, King of Swords, Ace of Cups. So I got to leave you alone. I'm telling you, and they protecting it too. As they're walking away, they're protecting. They're standing up for you. They're standing up for this connection. Okay? They're standing up for this love that they have for you. And there's a lot of it. Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, this person is like, I got a relationship somewhere else. Okay? And it's going real good. And I don't need you to fuck it up. Or come over here with your bullshit and your drama. Because you keep wanting to get these page ass offers and shit. You childish ass. Ooh, this masculine is disrespectful. What's the sun in reverse? He real live going at her though. King of Swords. If, a, if the King of Swords come out. With the five of wands. Like that's somebody that's ruthless with the mouth. Like they, they don't care what they say. How they say it. We got the devil that came out with the sun in reverse. I'm telling you. She's sitting up here doing black magic to keep a situation going. You're just sitting over here at peace, loving on yourself. 
Okay? Because you know intuitively that this is going on. Yeah, eight of pentacles. I mean, I said eight of pentacles. So she could be doing work on this man. That's why I say she's trying to keep this person stuck. Like in between worlds type energy. Like at a crossroads. But this person is still choosing to block it out. No matter how hard this person tried. Because she's... She, okay, she could be spying, lurking, and all that. And it's very hard for her to get into it, to figure it out. It's hard for her to, like, this person is blocked off from even knowing what's going on. Because she don't want to believe What she's hearing, seeing, or what he's saying. Because this this masculine. He's having a conversation with this queen of wands. And telling her the truth. Like, I didn't... I don't want to... Like, you put me through so much pain and hurt and trauma. This person has anxiety because of this queen of wands. And the sun. It was like no good days. Everything could have been ten of wands... All bad days or some shit like that. Like, they could have had good time, good memories and shit like that. But eventually, things start going sour. Because if the sun is in reverse, that's like things is going downhill. Things are going sour. And then on top of that with the devil? Hell yeah. Ain't no sunshine. What's the devil card? What's the devil card? They're the knight of pentacles. She's trying to drag something out. Something. She's trying to drag something out. Yeah, this masculine is moved. Like, they want, they going towards the future. And that's you. Divine Feminine. We're going to stop it right there. Because I didn't say everything I need to say. So, be prepared. Because something is in effect. Give me messages, friend. Okay, so we had put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Exactly. This person is is like going scrolling through old pictures and photos and shit like that and could be trying to send it to this masculine to be like, remember when we did this? Remember we did that? Remember the times that we said, do you remember the times when we fell in love? Do you remember the times when we first met? Girl? It's very much unrequited, okay? It's no more love there. Like, this person probably still care for her, but the page of cups like, on the front level, but it's just not there anymore. Three of swords. So, because this masculine doesn't feel the same anymore, she's trying to start drama with the five of wands because he chooses to move on. But he said, and all the memories as far as me. No girl, I never felt in love. And the and the fun, yeah. Say no. Nah. It's a like, don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Ask a fucking expert. She could be trying to get a uh, marriage count marriage or relationship counseling. But this person don't want that. Like they're like no, because this person know that they this person don't want to hurt you. This person don't want to lie and deceive you. That's not in this person's nature. Like this person is actually a loyal person with the King of Pentacles. And when they make their mind and they set their mind to, they're very loyal and devoted, and they're very committed. So it's like this person is sitting up here trying to keep this man stuck. And bound to them. And this masculine wants to be set the fuck free. Because they're coming to give their offer to who? You, the nine of pentacles. This single energy. They no longer wants to be over there. There's nothing there. Yeah, it's a time to let go. Move the fuck on. Damn. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. Winning. Exactly. This masculine know that they're winning with you. And they know that they could win with you. Okay? 
That's why they don't want to ruin something that they got good. It's, you and this masculine got a good thing going, and they don't want to ruin it. But they got somebody, they got an ex that's still holding on to them and lingering in their energy that don't want to let go. It's weird really to say, move the fuck on. Because they're coming to you regardless. It's already been established with the three of pentacles between the two of you. Y'all understand what's understood. It got to be explained. We got, man, these people is a trip. Yeah, you're the shit. Don't forget it. This masculine know that you're the shit. Get the fuck out of your head. Get into your heart. It misses you. Exactly. You made this masculine open up. This masculine was closed off because they were still holding on to hurt and pain and past trauma with this ex. But because of you, you made this masculine be vulnerable. King of Cups. And just because of that, they want to commit to you. They want to settle down. Four of Wands. It's self-explanatory, y'all. That's why I said what's understood between you and this person. They got to be explained. We got to figure shit out on your own. So somebody is definitely going through a tower moment. Or this person is telling this person figure shit out on their own. That's why the Seven of Cups here. Because this person is confused. Now this, okay, now I'm hearing it now. So I heard this karmic, well, this woman just say, how are you telling me to move on and figure shit out on my own when we was just communicating and you was telling me how much you miss me and you want to get back with me and all this other shit. And yeah, that's cool and all the masculine said, he was saying all that. But when he's starting to reconnect with you or get back with you, it's like feelings changed. That's because she was doing spell work. The devil and a magician. Like what? So this masculine was closed off to you by being, not being vulnerable towards you. It's because she was doing that shit. She was trying to keep this masculine stuck. That's why every time this masculine turned around, he tried to figure out why he keep feeling the way that he was feeling towards her. Like what? But by the more that you and this person be around each other or be together or talk or whatever the case may be, if y'all do rekindle, reunite or whatever... It's going to break that shit. That's why I said she's not protected temperance. At all. Because it's very much unbalanced and it's very much unrequited. Let's get one more spirit and I'm out of here. Loosen the fuck up. Control freaks don't get laid. You equals tight ass. Yeah. She's trying to control the situation. You are the best thing to ever happen to me. Or to you. Go easy on your ass. Buy your own damn drink. Yeah, this man's gonna feel like you was the best thing to happen to him. This is crazy. Because this person is going through a transformation. Okay? Death of the ego. And what else we have? The high priestess. And what's this? The three of cups. I'm telling you. This person intuition is like, they're opening their intuition up. They're listening to their inner guidance, their inner wisdom, and they're wanting to reconcile. And who is it? This Knight of Cups again in this deck. And who is it? What's this? The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is coming in to reconcile. King of Cups, Three of Cups. And they're not letting nobody stop them. Because this person is going through an ego death. And they're being honest with your honest with their self and truthful with their self and letting this 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 ex know as well. That is nothing there. <clears throat> All it's doing is causing more drama, more hate, and more problems with the ten of wands. But this person don't want to let it go. They want to hold on to this person. Mm-mm. All right, air signs, it's y'all message. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Peace.